Hi guys, welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. Today we will see the question longest palindrome substring. Given a string S, return the longest palindromic substring in S. So if you are given this string, the longest palindrome that we can get is BAB or ABA and the length of it is 3. So any of BAB or ABA is a valid answer in this case. For the second example, BB is the longest palindromic substring and thus the output is BB. For the third example, the string of length 1 is itself a palindromic string and so we return the string itself. For example 4, any one of the character can be termed to as a palindromic string and so we can return either A or C in this case. The constraints attached with this question are that the length of string can be between 1 to 1000 and it will only consist of English letters lowercase and or uppercase. So let's see how we can solve this question. The first and the foremost thing that we need to know is what is a palindrome. According to the definition, palindrome is a sequence that reads the same backwards and forwards. If you see the examples dad, bob, tenet are full palindrome strings. And now if we want to find the center point from where the strings are equal backwards and forwards, it would be this. So the strings AD and AD are equal, OB and OB are equal or NET, NET is equal from here. So these are the center points from which if we expand in both the directions, the characters that we get at those directions would be same in case when it is a palindrome. So now let's take this example. For this string, we can have these two palindromes and obviously the bigger one is this one. And so the output will be this string. So now let's take one step ahead and see how we can solve this question. Suppose you are at B and you need to find a palindrome whose center is B. In this case, you'll go in left and right and start comparing the characters at left and right. And if this are equal, then you can say that ABA is a palindrome or else if there would be another character C then CABAC would have been a palindrome. Now this case is only possible when you have a odd length palindrome. In that case you will have a center as a single character. For this particular example with the center B we can get the palindrome as ABA because after that it makes a string non-palindrome. Now, what if you consider CC? For cases when you want to find a palindrome of even length, you will have to consider center that has two characters and then move in either direction to find out the palindrome. So if you go in this directions, you get A and A which are equal and so you can say that this is a palindrome. Again, when you travel one step ahead, you get B and B over here which are also equal. So you can say that this whole chunk is a palindrome. Now when you go ahead you will get A and E which are not equal and thus your palindrome condition fails and thus you can say that only this middle part is a palindrome. So this would be the palindrome when you consider CC as a center and its length if you see is 6 which is an even length. So to find the length, the formula would be right minus left minus 1. Why so? Because you will be getting false once you are at A and E. And so the indexes would be one step ahead. And so you would need to subtract 1. So the answer would be right minus left minus 1. So this was all about the question and the intuition behind the answer. So what are the key takeaways? The key takeaways for this question would be for each character, you can consider the center and expand on both sides to find the maximum length of the palindrome for that center. Now, for center, there can be two possibilities. One, that you can check for a palindrome of odd length, wherein the center would be the ith index. And for even length palindrome, the center would be consisting of i and i plus 1 index. Finally, the length would be right minus left minus 1. So you would need to iterate over the array and you need to find 
द पैलिंड्रोम फॉर ऑड लेंथ एंड इवन लेंथ एट ईच इंडेक्स बाय एक्सपैंडिंग ऑन बोथ द साइड्स एंड देन फाइंडिंग द लेंथ इफ द लेंथ इज मैक्सिमम यू नीड टू अपडेट द मैक्सिमम लेंथ पैलिंड्रोम विद द करंट वन दैट्स ऑल अबाउट द थियोरी ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन नाउ लेट्स गो अहेड एंड कोड दिस वन सो द फर्स्ट थिंग दैट वी वुड नीड इज अ स्टार्ट एंड एंड इंडेक्स फॉर आर सब स्ट्रिंग दैट इज अ पैलिंड्रोम so this will give us the start and end now we loop on each character and expand our search for even and odd length substrings that are palindrome so i'll be writing an expand method which would give me the length of the substring for odd length and even length with the center as i or the center as i and i plus 1 after we have this we can find the actual length that we want to consider so the length would be the maximum of both even and odd after we find this we also need to update our start and end index if this length is actually greater than the length we have earlier found out so So here, if this length is greater than the previous length, which we can find out by end minus start, I'll have to find the new start and end. The new start would be i minus length minus one by two, and end will be i plus length by two. Now, why we are doing this length minus one? Let me take an example. If we are having an even length, say six. that is the length of our palindrome now for this my i would be at index 2 okay and my start should have been at index i minus 2 and my end should have been at index i plus 3 if you see that 2 and 3 we are getting two different numbers to get this 2 we will have to do length minus 1 by 2 why we are getting this 3 because for even length we have the center as i and i plus 1 if you do this for odd say 5 my i will be at position 2 now also my start will be i minus 2 and my end will be i plus 2 if you see here this 2 is the floor of length by 2 and length minus 1 by 2 or length by 2 will always give me the floor of length by 2 and that's how both even and odd length start and end index are calculated just in one case now once we have our result with us we need to return the substring that will include my start and my end but to include end i'll have to do end plus 1 because the substring method does not include the end so i'll have to do an end plus 1 to include my end index now we are left with writing the expand function so the expand function is returning the length so we'll write return type as int and it will take our string s it will take the left and it will take the right from our sent now we need to move our left and right or expand while this condition is true in the condition firstly we'll have the border conditions that is while left is greater than equal to 0 and right is less than s dot length with this we also need the characters to be equal so s dot s dot caret left should be equal to s dot caret right if this is the case my left will move one step left and my right will move one step right finally we will return the length that is right minus left minus 1 as we had talked about in our presentation so this whole thing can give us the answer let's try to run this for all the sample test cases and it gives a right result let's try to submit this and it got submitted for this the time complexity is o of n square as for each index we are moving to left and right and for that we can reach both the extreme points and so we can say that it can maximum go to n square while the space complexity for this question would be o of 1 as we are not using any extra space 
So that's it for today guys. Thanks for watching the video. I'll see you in the next one.